So I've never bought anything from Timu before, um, but I keep seeing ads for them, as I'm sure you probably do as well. And I thought, well, I wonder if they sell interesting puzzles. And they had quite a lot of puzzles that were surprisingly cheap, and I bought a few. Uh, and this one cost £6.74. I didn't realise, but I think at the time that I ordered it, I didn't realise, but I think it's a puzzle that you have to build yourself. I thought it came constructed, but let's have a look. All right. So I guess it's called the Maze Little Rainbow. And is this actual Lego? It looks like Lego. But if we look closely, I think if it was Lego, you'd see the Lego logo on the little nubs, and there's no Lego logo. So I think it's um pretty accurate copy of Lego, which is why it was able to be cheap, because I don't think you could get even just these pieces of Lego for £6.74. Um, okay, so let's see. The thing I'm intrigued about, really, with this, well, aside from it being very cheap, <laughs> is if I put it together, will it still be an interesting puzzle? Or will the act of putting it together tell me the solution to the puzzle? So I guess we'll find out. So I, th I start here. So I'm just going to trust that I've got all the pieces um, and we'll find out as I go along if I don't. So step one is just, I guess, taking the base. And then step two. Well, my eyesight is not good enough for this. OK, so I think that's one of these and one of these. I'm going to place like this. Okay, so I think that's step two done. And then for step three, and it's quite hard to see here, but it's basically just a bunch more black pieces. So I think that's one of these. And two by two, where's that? There's one of those. And then this one, which I, I think, can you tell? I think that's two by six. Yeah, that'll be this, I guess. Okay, so I think what I'm doing is I'm putting the one in first, then the two, and then the six. I wonder if it's actually part of the puzzle that they use <laughs> this sort of layout, or if it's just a way of putting the pieces in. Anyway, what have we got next? Oh, right, a little tiny flat fella, which I think is one of these. Uh, which is going to go in there. Uh, in the right place, I think so. And then one of these, which I think is a three by one. Yep, so that's one of these, which goes there. Okay, so we've created something that something can slide over there, I guess. Right, so that was step four. So now I jump over here for step five. This is, I think, a one by four, which is going to go across here. And then I think this one's, yeah, just a flat two by two. All right, I was really struggling to see the instructions, so I've added some light, which will shine on there, but hopefully it'll be easier for me to see what's going on. Okay, so, ah, good, right, yeah. So this is a bumpy, a bumpy square. Oh, there it is. I was about to say it didn't have, it wasn't there, but that wasn't true. Now, I think this is here, so it's overlapping one bump, but not both. And then, yeah, look at that piece. It's now six. Ooh, this is exciting. It's got a little rod. It's not super obvious, but I guess it's going in there. I'm guessing that's going to be a tool that you have to discover. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. 
Interesting. Slots in and then friction is kind of holding it in place. That's really neat. Well, so far the instructions are very good. Super clear. So we need two of these. So that's that one and that one. And then... This thing. Where's this guy? Hmm. <laughs> it's actually not telling me where to put it, is it? So I'm wondering if this is meant to go in this gap here, but it's not showing me that. It would fit like that. Is that the idea? This is the first misstep in the instructions. They haven't shown you what to do with that piece, unless I'm just being blind. So this is going to go there. Nothing's going to hold it in place. It's just going to sit there. But at least I think that means this now fits. Yeah, OK. I think that probably is right. And then this goes on there. And this goes on there. OK, so that is the right length. Yeah, good. Okay, and then where does this go? Something in Chinese. <laughs> but this goes in there, I think. Has to be there. So this can slide. And there's something happening with this, but it's not telling me what. It's the second confusing bit in the instructions. And obviously that's only confusing to me because I don't speak Mandarin, but otherwise it would be fine, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, okay, I don't know, but I'm going to guess that this is telling me that this is where you hide the treasure. So you're going to put your treasure in there, I, I guess. Um, it has to be a really tiny treasure. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be my treasure, googly eye. Okay, I'm putting it in there. And this is going to go there. Like so. Hmm. Okay, that's a shame. <laughs> I do not have another piece that can sit on here. Yeah, if I had checked the piece at the beginning, I'd have seen there were meant to be two of these, and there's only one. All right, my kids are in their late teens now, so Lego is no longer such a critical part of our family life, but I managed to find some Lego in the loft, so hopefully... Yeah, you can see the difference. These pieces have the word Lego uh, on every single one of the little bumps. But they fit perfectly, so that will do. the puzzle finished and now we have three spare pieces i'd rather have got the flat plate but there we go all right so that i think is now the whole puzzle now i have a partial answer to my question from the beginning <laughs> will i know how to solve it i kind of do i know that the um prize sits in there and i know that the way to get to it is to push this in and i know the way to push that in is to pull this out I also know that this piece will just come out revealing a tool. And then what? Do I put this in here and pull? No. I guess I pull that piece out next. OK. And then this piece comes out. <laughs> and then that can go in here. Or here. Right, there you have your answer. It's not trivial, even though I put it together. I still don't actually know what to do. 
And this is cool because this actually kind of clips into one of those camera pieces so that you could pull it out theoretically. But I know this piece won't come out this way because I remember how it was constructed. But I also know it will go that way if an appropriate piece moves out of its way. This has got to be it because this, this goes in and kind of grips, but not enough. So now that that's in, it's gripping onto something, but it doesn't have the ability to move that thing. Twist it now. This one does turn, but that's just turning freely inside the hole, it's not doing anything. Ooh. Didn't that change something? Yay, there it is. Okay, so I solved it. <laughs> Amusingly, I'm not sure that I understand what I did. But okay, yeah, it is just a matter of pulling this out, but you just have to get a good grip on the piece that's in there, and slide it this way. There's a little hole that was over here, and we've now slid that that way so that the rod that sticks out of the back of this piece can go into the hole and it can go that way, and then you're, you get access to the treasure so let's get it back to its original state shall we okay okay that's good so now oh I see yeah that's a way I could have locked this in is by just holding on there and then that wouldn't allow this to pull the thing out okay now that goes back in there and this goes back in here and then this goes back in there this goes back in there. Now, aside from the fact that that's not very clear, I was able to figure that out. Um, and there's a missing instruction here about what you do with this little piece. And the fact that this piece is missing completely. <laughs> aside from that, for £6.70 something, that is a really, really nice puzzle. I actually love that, and I love the way this looks. I mean, you know, they've actually gone to some trouble to make it look pretty, as well as being an interesting and fun puzzle. So yeah, I am really, really surprised and impressed with that. Um, it's not a super difficult puzzle, but given that it took me a little bit of time, even though I'd put it together, I guess it's probably harder than it seemed. Even just because this is the first step, right? The first step is just figuring out that you can just pull that piece out. Even that isn't really obvious. It doesn't just sort of drop out of its own accord. You have to give it a bit of a pull. Anyway, so there we go. That's uh, the Maze Little Rainbow Sequential Discovery Puzzle Box from Timu. Um, remarkably good value, I would say. Uh, aside from the missing piece. <laughs> so there we go. Hope you've enjoyed watching this and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.